Welcome to Esoteric Travels, where we uncover extraordinary destinations around the world. In this episode, we're embarking on a journey to Palestine, a land deeply rooted in history, culture, and ongoing conflict. We want to emphasize that due to war, we do not recommend traveling to this region at this time. Please check with your local state or federal travel authority for the latest advisories. With that in mind, let's explore the top 5 things to do in Palestine, a land that we hope will have a better future. Palestine, often referred to as the Palestinian Territories, encompasses the West Bank, Gaza, and the historic city of Jerusalem. Its history is a tapestry of civilizations, from the Canaanites and ancient Egyptians to the Romans and Byzantines. One cannot discuss the history of Palestine without acknowledging the Israel-Palestine conflict. This long-standing dispute centers around issues of territory, security, and self-determination for both Israelis and Palestinians. It's a complex matter that continues to impact the lives of those in the region. Now, let's delve into the top five things to do in Palestine, celebrating the culture and history of this resilient land. 1. Old City of Jerusalem Our first stop takes us to the Old City of Jerusalem, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, with a history dating back over 3,000 years. Within its ancient walls, you'll discover the Western Wall, which is the last remnant of the Second Jewish Temple, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, believed to be the site of Jesus' crucifixion, and the Dome of the Rock, an iconic symbol of Jerusalem. It's a place where history and the Abrahamic religions intersect, leaving a profound impact on visitors from all walks of life. The Temple Mount is considered the most iconic intersection of the Abrahamic faiths. In its northern region, the Dome of the Rock is a sacred site for Jews and Christians. Both groups believe that this is where Adam, the first human, was created by God and where Abraham attempted to sacrifice his son as a test of faith. Christians believe that this is where Jesus Christ shared many of his teachings. On the southern side of the mount is Masjid al-Aqsa, the third holiest site for Muslims. They believe this is where the angel Gabriel, an important figure in the Abrahamic world, took Muhammad into the heavens. As well, it was the first place where Muslims oriented their prayers, which then changed to the Qibla or Black Stone in Mecca. The Western Wall, left of al-Aqsa, is often referred to as the Wailing Wall. This is where countless Jewish pilgrims have placed written prayers in its crevices for centuries, mourning the destruction of their holy temple. 2. Bethlehem and the Church of the Nativity Our next destination is Bethlehem, a city with a history that reaches back to biblical times. It's renowned as the birthplace of Jesus, and the Church of the Nativity is a place of unparalleled significance for Christians. The church's construction began in 326 AD, making it one of the oldest in the world, and its grotto of the nativity is traditionally believed to be where Jesus was born. The church's entrance is known as the Door of Humility as it requires visitors to bow when entering. 3. Jericho and the Dead Sea We continue our journey to Jericho, a city with a history that spans millennia. It's famously associated with the biblical story of the Battle of Jericho and the walls that came tumbling down. As we explore this ancient city, we find it surrounded by the striking desert landscapes of the West Bank. The Battle of Jericho story, with its legendary trumpet blasts and falling walls, is a cornerstone of biblical history, making Jericho a place where myth and reality intertwine. Nearby, the Dead Sea beckons with its extraordinary salt concentration, allowing visitors to float effortlessly in its buoyant waters. 4. The City of Hebron Hebron, one of the West Bank's most significant cities, holds a remarkable history dating back over 3,000 years. It is home to the Cave of the Patriarchs, also known as the Ibrahimi Mosque, a site revered by both Jews and Muslims. This sacred space houses the tombs of Abraham, Sarah, Isaac, Rebecca, Jacob, and Leah, making it a pivotal place of pilgrimage and faith. The site's importance is highlighted by the fact that it's mentioned in both the Bible and the Quran, 
signifying its shared heritage by people of different faiths. 5. Gaza's Seaside Our final destination takes us to Gaza, a coastal enclave along the Mediterranean Sea. While the region has faced considerable challenges, its seaside remains a place of natural beauty. The clear waters and sandy beaches provide a momentary escape from the turmoil that afflicts the area. Gaza's seaside has been a place of solace and relaxation for its residents, offering a reprieve from the hardships of daily life. It symbolizes the resilience and strength of the people of Gaza. Our journey through Palestine celebrates the rich culture, history, and heritage of this extraordinary land. However, it is crucial to emphasize that the ongoing Israel-Palestine conflict has created complex challenges and safety concerns. We remain hopeful for a peaceful resolution to the conflict, one that will ultimately allow travelers to explore Palestine's beauty and cultural treasures. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more extraordinary destinations. Until next time, keep exploring the world's hidden treasures. Safe travels!